Sorry that you've had to start the troubleshooting video. If this video doesn't address your concern, the JobMine Help Desk will be able to help you out. When you first log into JobMine, check for notices on login page. If there's a problem with the system, that's where you'll find out about it, as well as the anticipated resolution time. Now that you've logged in, maybe you're having trouble uploading your applications. When you upload a resume, usually JobMine tells you that the upload was successful. If you see a message that the upload was unsuccessful, instead, please record the error from the error report field that appears and contact the JobMine Help Desk. Please include your name and your student ID number and attach the file you are trying to upload. Let's assume the upload went well. If you're a 1B student or higher, you should see your Waterloo marks. If these don't appear, the most likely culprit is outstanding fees owed to the university. CECA doesn't have any control over this, so please check your Quest account to find out whether you have outstanding fees. Fees arranged means you're all set. Other statuses mean you aren't, and that you should get in contact with the Registrar's Office. Now you're searching for jobs. If JobMine won't even show you any co-op postings, the issue might be a missing term card. Go to your JobMine profile. Confirm that your student status is correct. If you are looking for a co-op job, there should be UI, which stands for Unemployed Interview Process. If it isn't UI or you don't see a status, let your CECS contact know immediately. If you still can't see jobs, maybe you're searching in the wrong term. Select the term magnifying glass button on the Students tab, Job Inquiry. Remember that you're searching for the work term, not your current term. If you're scheduled to work in Spring 2015, the term code is 1155. If you're searching during Winter 2015 for a Spring 2015 job, the term code is still 1155. If you need help with this, please review the Job My Basics video on job applications or click on that perennial friend, the magnifying glass, next to the term field on JobMine. Finally, if you can't see jobs to apply to, let your CECS contact, your career or student advisor, know because there may be a setting on your profile that they need to switch for you. Maybe you can see only a very limited amount of the information about the job and you're not getting a job description screen like this one. There are two likely possibilities. One is that your computer's pop-up blocker is active, deactivated, at least for JobMind pop-ups. The other is that you're using a browser that sometimes works imperfectly with JobMind. Try switching browsers before contacting the JobMind help desk. If you haven't found a solution in this video, please contact the JobMind help desk, either in person on the second floor of the Tatum Center or via email at jobmine at uwaterloo.ca. Thanks for listening and good luck on your applications.